Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tanil, and welcome to my channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video. And for those of you who have been here before, welcome back. You guys, I am back today with another reaction video. Today I have Jim Gaffigan explains why Southerners are slow. Now, I cannot wait to hear what he has to say about this because you guys, you know I'm a Southerner, I'm a Texan, and I've been told that before, that I talk with a slow drag. Only when I was in California, though. <laughs> so anyway, I can't wait to check out this video. But before we jump into today's video, you guys, you know, I have to say thank you so much for all the love and support that you continue to show me across all of my platforms. Now, if you have not joined me on OnlyFans, Instagram, TikTok, or Patreon, all that information is in the description box below. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into that Jim Gaffigan clip. Finally, someone my color is I on know. the show. This, 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 <laughs> is this a diversity panel? <laughs> 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 Very nice. You know, the entertainment industry used to be all white men, yeah. and we signify uh, that it's changed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You're not just white. You are, I thought I was the whitest guy. I'm the whitest uh, guy most people have ever seen, and then you come along. I make you look Puerto Rican. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And you know what? I am a hot Latina, so I appreciate that. <laughs> so funny. Uh, so much to talk about. First of all, I know you are touring constantly. You're on yes. that tour bus. You're going around this great country of ours. Yes, I love, I love touring around doing stand-up. And uh, What are you learning? What are you learning about this? Well, nation? you know, this is a great country. Much better than Canada. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I love Canada. Yeah, I do. Really no, does. well, you know, well, we, we did a tour in the southeast. And I'll tell you, the south, uh, you know, People are nicer in the South. They really are. Really? That's I true. I think they are, and there's three people. Yeah. But there's <laughs> three people from the slower. South in the and I don't mean intelligence wise. <laughs> they just move slow. They move more slowly. Right. It's like, hey, your That's house is true. on fire. Oh, all right. Oh, I'll get to that, but first, I need to drink some sweet tea. <laughs> and I figured it out. It's the biscuits and gravy. <laughs> It is. That's it. Everyone in the South moves like they've just had two helpings. I should have had that second. This is a nine year old I'm pretending to <laughs> And you know, they're, they're eating biscuits and gravy oh for breakfast. God. They're yes. not coming home drunk and crazy late at night, you know, like, I'll eat anything. They're waking up and saying, time for cement. Yeah. You know? <laughs> They're eating chicken and so waffles. You know, the the sounds will never rise again because they don't have the energy. <laughs> <laughs> most of their diet involves paper mache. <laughs> really, paper mache. They're oh essentially eating pinata stuff. <laughs> I'm choking. Oh my it's, god. I mean, I love it. Like in the south, they don't even try and hide that they're eating unhealthy. Like on the no. menu, you could be all right. I'll have the bucket of butter and the salt stick. Yeah. He's and they're like, do you want to deep fry? Of course I did, bitch. <laughs> do it. I do it, it now. I did it. Oh you uh, you talk, because uh, I've known you many years, you talk a lot about food. You're fascinated by food. I love food, you know, because I'm, you know, I'm fat. <laughs> I knew you were going to say but, that. Uh, I don't want to brag or anything, but I have kind of an announcement. Congratulations on your show, by the way. But, um... I, you know, I'm a little heavy, but I'm also, I'm preparing for a big roll. It's a cinnamon roll. And, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I don't want to look like I can't finish it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, food is important. It is important. I mean, sharing a meal with someone, that's intimacy, right? That's why it was called the Last Supper and not the Last Meeting. Right? right? I mean, Jesus was trying to get 12 guys together. There had to be food. Right. You know, Jesus was like, uh, tomorrow I'd like to get everyone together. You know, one of the apostles was like, is there going to be food there? <laughs> He's like, yes, there will be food. Are we talking appetizers or like a full on? <laughs> it will be a supper. <laughs> so casual, I can wear a robe, right? <laughs> Jesus, you know. I'll tell you, Jesus, he was in amazing shape. You know, you yeah. see him in those paintings, he looked great, you yeah. know what I mean? And it, it's, it's even more impressive because he looked great and he could multiply bread whenever he wanted. <laughs> you know, he could be like, boom, pretzel bread, you know what I mean? 
The Bible doesn't really specify what type of bread he multiplied. I imagine it was pretzel bread, right? Oh my God. I would Boom. That. Pretzel bread. Boom. <laughs> Garlic knots. Yeah. You know? I wouldn't assume that at all. Like, if I multiply garlic knots right now, you guys would be like, maybe he's God. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what's even more, you know, who knows? Maybe Jesus could multiply bread, but he didn't have any control over what type of bread it was. You know, maybe he was like, boom, pumpernickel. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Boom, Melba toast. That's never happened before. <laughs> right. Boom, sourdough. Hello, ladies. Yeah. yeah. Everyone loves sourdough. Oh, it's good stuff. the south okay let's talk about the biscuits and gravy okay guys the reason why i was laughing so hard is because <laughs> biscuits and gravy is like yes it's like the number one thing that people here in the south eat and yes it's for breakfast or lunch or dinner <laughs> it doesn't matter the time of day now i actually don't eat biscuits and gravy i don't like it but my husband will eat biscuits and gravy two to three times a day if he could. He loves biscuits and gravy. Like everyone I know here loves biscuits and gravy. Now I'm more of a chicken and waffles type of girl because I did spend a lot of time in California. So the chicken and waffles thing kind of rubbed off on me in my 15 years that I lived in LA. But uh, one of the things that I was going to say is like when I first moved to California, God, this was like 2001, I believe, when I lived in California or when I moved to California. And I lived in California for about 15 years in Los Angeles. And when I started making friends out there, people, they like made fun of the way I talk because they said I talk really slow and I kind of moved slow, you know, just like I just wasn't in a hurry. And I'm like, wait, what? Are you serious? And they were like, yeah, and like when you talk, you talk so slow. Now, sometimes I can hear my Southern accent come out, like just right now. I think I said Southern accent. <laughs> and people who are not from here and they talk to me or like I've had people comment um, on some of my videos and like even email me and say, oh, I love your accent. I'm like, accent? What are you talking about? I don't have an accent, you know, but I guess you can hear it. Um, if you're not from the South, but most people from here, like we don't hear it. Like I personally don't think I have an accent and I don't think I move slow. I think I'm, you know, I'm always in a hurry. Quick, 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 But I don't know. But he said that's the reason why people in the South move so slow because, <laughs> because of the biscuits and gravy. <laughs> I'm just dying because it's just so funny. And I, I think it's kind of gross. It's just like, it's flour on flour on flour. So anyway, let me know what you thought about this video. You guys, let's talk. Let's just talk about biscuits and gravy. Do you eat biscuits and gravy? <laughs> what else can we say about this? Do you eat biscuits and gravy? Yes or no? <laughs> Tell us why in the comment section below. Guys, and if you enjoyed my reaction, please be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you never miss a video. Also, guys, if you haven't followed me on all of my other platforms, all that information is in the description box below. If you have something you'd like to see me react to, send it to my email, justinil at gmail.com. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and thank you for laughing at me and with me. <laughs> Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye. God, cost my life for profit. Never that fly too high to be honest. Gold mine, all of my blood. My whole mind harmonized with the cosmic. I get signs from the Godzilla often. I cause I vibe so hard, keep caution. Never had faith in the path.